Hey team, how you doing? Ray here and here for MotoNZ.com. This is my Tenere 700 and uh, well, I've done it before and I think I've done a video on it, but uh, today we are doing an oil and filter change. So I'll make this as painless as possible. Let's, uh, let's dive into it. The first thing you want to do is start up your bike, get that oil nice and warm. I wait until the temperature gauge on the T7's dash reads about 50 degrees. I know that that's water temperature, not oil temperature, but it seems to be warm enough. You're going to need an oil drain pan, and on my bike, I need to take off the Outback Motortech skid plate to access the sump plug and, of course, the oil filter. There we go. Water temps up to about 50 degrees, which means the oil has a little bit of temperature in it. Stop the bike and then struggle with the sump plug. This is a 17 millimeter socket. And I use the high flow oil filter, which has the 17 mil socket on the end of it as well. I don't use the socket to do the filter up, but it's great for getting the filter off. Take them off, let it drain. Put the new filter on. Make sure you lube up that little rubber gasket. And you're really just trying to get it hand tight here. Don't over tighten the oil filter. Replace the sump plug. Again, don't over tighten. And use a rag to remove any residual oil that's dribbled off the end of the sump there. Now the manual for the Tenere 700 says to use 2.5 litres of oil at an oil and filter change. So I'm measuring my oil out in this taller measuring vessel and then pouring it into a jug once it's measured to be put into the bike. Remove the oil filler cap and using a funnel pour your two and a half litres of oil into the engine. Now once you've put your oil in, the sight glass on the side of the engine is not going to read accurate. You can see here that it's over full. But remember that the oil needs to circulate around the engine. So start the engine up, keep an eye on the oil pressure light, and as long as that goes out, you're fine. Run the bike for a couple of minutes, stop it, Check it again, but at this point the oil sight glass is going to read low. So give the bike a couple of minutes to let the oil drain back into the sump. Now's a good time to make sure you've got no oil leaking out of your sump plug or your filter. And after a few minutes, check that oil sight glass again. All right, so there we go. Uh, oil and filter is changed on the Tenere 700. Um, ended up using 2.4, 2.5 to 2.6 litres of oil. Uh, if you've got any questions about the oil to use, I use this stuff, the Spectro uh, SAE 10W40 synthetic oil, and I buy it in a four litre bottle. And here in New Zealand, it costs about $85 for a four litre bottle. So there you go. Um, I already had some laying around. 2.5 litres per oil change. Uh, it's a four litre bottle, so you're going to you're going to end up buying a bottle per oil change for the first few oil changes and then you'll get to a point where you've got enough to do an oil change kind of a bonus oil change there you go um on the tenere 700 i think it's uh 1000 k's for the first service and then 10,000 every service after that uh, so my bike's about to click over 30,000 k's um i've kind of shortened the service intervals to get it to the round figure of every 10,000, 30,000, just because it makes life easier. But otherwise, um, there you go. It's an oil and filter change on the T7. Good to go for another 10,000 Ks. I do have the chain and sprockets sitting here to do. And as soon as I get enough time up my sleeve, I'll do those and take you along for the ride on that as well.